Yeah, I did a whoops on, on one of these little uh, grid ties. You can see this capacitor's all bowed out and that. I kind of kind of blew that out of there, and I, I, I that's all the damage I think I can see on here. I didn't see anything else that looked like it is, and so yeah, I can I can show you what I did to do that. So. What I did, I, I was playing, I read somewhere as far as uh, the, the voltage on, on your solar panels com coming into the grow watt and, you know, just kind of researching stuff on that. It, I had this whole system set up for 24 volt. Batteries are two 24 volt batteries in parallel. And so that's 24 volts. My solar panels, I just had them all set up in parallel. They're all 24 volt solar panels. So them I just had in parallels in the different arrays. So everything was 24 volt. And I, the reading I was doing, it had said, you know, it's a lot easier for your, your chargers, in this case, my chargers, the grow lot, to charge your battery if the voltage coming into the charger is more than the battery voltage. And I thought, I said, wow, that kind of makes sense because this don't have to work as hard to charge your batteries, to try and change current in the voltage, you know, to, uh, when, when, when the sun starts going down and your voltage starts dropping on your panels and stuff, it don't, it wouldn't have to work as hard. Plus, I think that extends the, the amount of daylight because you, you're get your voltage going in here is a little bit higher so I think it just, you might get an extra half hour in the morning or evening. I haven't done anything that way with it. But what, so what, what I did is I just kind of rewired this over here. I added a couple more bus bars and I have it set up. So when I throw these switches over here to go to the grow watt, this is now 48 volt, well, 50 volt, or what it, you know, whatever the, the uh, solar panels are given out. So that that puts a higher voltage in here the the thing is is the the inverters the the grid tie inverters um they're 24 volt you know they they don't want to they they don't go up to 48 but i think they have a 50 volt maximum on them uh cheapy amazon grid tie inverters so i was just over here i was playing around and it was working and i threw the you know i threw these on here and I'm like wow that's really cool and I forgot about this guy this is that one that that's uh it's the two um 200 watt panels that that, that just goes to the the one grid tie that just just runs at like 250 watts just idles along I forgot all about that guy <laughs> and I sh if I would have turned him off when I would have I put these two to go to the grow watt and create 48 volt over here he would have been fine I mean, you can see i have a, uh, the wire pulled off and everything he would have been fine i forgot about him that was my bad and the way it was hooked up basically he was in series with the 48 volt so that took those panels and that created like i it was uh, about 70 volts <laughs> I, I threw at him so he didn't last very long after I threw 70 volts at him. So that's kind of what happened there. And it's, that's my bad. You know, that, that's my bad that that happened. So yes, if I would have just turned him off when, when I moved these over there, he would have been fine. But this is actually working. This is creating the 48 volt. When I throw these in here, into the grow watts, I have 48 volt, 50 volt, or whatever. Here, let me set you down and show you. So, have it set for DC. And, yep, see the, the panel right now is 50, 58. It's, it's kind of a little hazy out, which is still pretty impressive. Right now, all I have is this uh, two 240 watt panels coming in on this line here. Those right now are going to the, the grid ties at 24 volt to uh, help my air conditioner and, and water heater. So those are still over there. But when I do flip them down to here, that takes them to panel arrays, changes it to 48 volt, 
and because it's turned off it doesn't affect the grid ties over there I just forgot about that guy <laughs> and that's my bad I think the next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put put that uh, other yeah, that that that's where he was resting before he kind of smoked. But I, I'm gonna get it. I ha actually have another one of these breakers, and I think I have a lot, a little bit longer DIN rail if it won't fit on here. But I'm just gonna come over here when I want to throw, you know, all the voltage into there and just turn these off, so nothing will come over here. And I'll have him. Him, I just had set up on a fuse, so I I wasn't it. I didn't climb up there to pull the fuse, so I'm just gonna set him up on a switch over here, so that that way throw these off, throw all the voltage at the grow lot. So yeah, that, that's how that happened. I'm gonna see if I can get a different capacitor for it. You know, I, I, I'm not, I, my hopes ain't too high on it because there, there could possibly be something else burned out in there. But so I, I'm gonna see if I can order one of those and get, get it repaired. But other, you know, I, I will keep you posted and I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, you can see I have the, the burnt capacitor pulled out of there. I unsoldered it and got them from Amazon. Got to buy an eight pack. They're like a, yeah, I think it was a little bit less than a buck a pop. So I'm going to try getting this soldered back in there and get this all put back together. And we're going to go from there. Okay, you can see I, I have the capacitor soldered back in there. A replacement. And I have all the, the MOSFETs back to clamped back on just the way they had them. You know, I did my best. So let me finish putting this back together and see where we're at. And we are back in business. It's late in the day. It's, it's after 5 o'clock, so we don't have full sun right now. But, yep, it seems to be working okay. I will monitor it, make sure it don't get overly warm or anything. But... Yeah, I I have seven extra capacitors, so we can we can do it again a couple times. Yeah, so here's that bag of ca capacitors. I had to buy the eight bag of eight. There was like eight bucks. So they were like a dollar ten a piece. You know, it's better than buying a whole new grid tie. And I just want to say this: uh, since I've been going to the uh, forty-eight volt going into the grow lot, I just going to show you it's it is cloudy, cloudy outside. And we're going in here. It's they're thinning out a little bit more, but before it was pushing in six six amps. Now that's at fifty some volts. So it was still charging these batteries at you know three three hundred watts. So I mean that that is pretty nice. I don't think I was getting that good a charge on the twenty four volt when it would be cloudy. So I'm thinking this this is. A lot more efficient going in here at 48 volt um, I'm, I'm sure people with more experience on this you know with charging and the solar panel stuff can say yes or no with, with it but this is working this setup does seem to be working now as far as turn turning stuff on like right now I have these everything is going into the, the grow watt to charge the battery except for this bank that's actually on going back to that other grid tie that i just repaired and it is working so we have you know 50 some volts over here and this grid tie is up here and it's run at 24 volts see you can you can see it's only at like 50 52 watts because it is it is cloudy outside so it does seem to be working so i'm going to keep monitoring that grid tie that i repaired like I said, it's, it's cloudy out there now, so it's going to be a while. I'm kind of curious to see once it gets back up to the, you know, it would normally run about between two and 300 watts and, and just idle along there on a sunny day. So, and it does, it did get warm, you know, it did get hot, you know, the fan, the fan would cycle on and off on it. So it, it did get warm. So I'll just have to keep an eye on it. Hopefully we're, we're, we're good to go on it. So until... <laughs> until I blow something else up, you know, thanks for watching and we will keep you posted.